All right, so all the time people are asking me what I think is the best pet turtle or the best pet aquatic turtle. Um, and I usually have one answer for them most of the time, and that's gonna be the mud and musk turtles. Those are just, they're these like little compact turtles, easy to take care of, great personality. Uh, let's look at some of my favorite ones. And right here, we have a mud turtle. Look at that. Little friendly turtle, nice small size, easy to take care of. She just runs along the bottom doing her thing. These are awesome turtles. I love mud turtles. You can tell them from a musk turtle because they have a bigger plastron. They don't have those large areas of skin underneath the shell that the musk turtles have. So we're gonna just let her go back right here. Here on the bottom, you can see a stink pot. Across the bottom. Gotcha. All right, so this is a stink pot and very similar in appearance to the mud turtle. Um, but these also make really great pets. Great personality, small size. I mean, this is pretty much as big as you're looking at for an adult. Uh, stink pots are awesome. Uh, they got the name because of the musk glands that they have, but once you've had them in captivity a while, they really don't musk on you that much. No smell. So I love stink pots. All right, so looking at some of the more commonly available musk turtles, uh, one of the ones that you'll find that is actually one of my personal favorites and one of the neatest is Razorback musk turtle. They're just, they're our largest North American musk turtle. Um, they have this neat keel down the back of the shell. That's what separates them from the others. And they're just so much bigger. I mean, that's, for a musk turtle, that's pretty big. So Razorback musk turtles come from the Gulf states uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. Uh, they have a pretty broad range down there, and they're just an awesome musk turtle. They're fairly friendly, and they get to just pretty big sizes. I mean, this one's not even full grown, and just such a neat turtle. Right, so the striped neck musk turtle is gorgeous. It's one of the most beautiful musk turtles there is. And the main thing with these guys that keeps them from being almost the perfect musk turtle is they just need cooler, cleaner water. Uh, where they're from is basically like little cool trout streams. And so what they need is that water has to have some flow to it, has to be on the cooler end. If you keep it at like 80 degrees, it's gonna be too warm for them. So they need cool water, nice cool flow, um, but they're gorgeous turtles. I mean, they're just, they're the neatest of, uh, and parents wise, I think they're the neatest looking of all the uh, Sternotherus. But if we're gonna get into the ones that are my absolute favorite, it's gonna be these guys, the loggerhead musk. I mean, that is just such a cool turtle. I love that big head with those silly eyes. I mean, they are just, you know, there's something else. The loggerhead musk is just one of my favorites. Um, I have a bunch of them. Uh, one thing I love is I love being able to come out to the pond at night and see them foraging around and eating little snails and clams and chasing the crayfish around and just foraging on the bottom. I, I love that. Um, and the cool thing is, is, if you keep them in an aquarium, they're gonna do that same thing. They're gonna forage around and they're gonna rummage around the bottom. You're gonna get to see them doing all those little activities. And then it's also neat that you're gonna get to see them doing that and they'll recognize you and actually come towards you for food and be excited to see you. And a lot of people love that. That's Their, their personality is just awesome. So yeah, the loggerhead musk turtle is just, for me, it's, it's just one of the best pet turtles there is. Um, they just have this neat compact size, uh, but they're capable of growing these big heads for, you know, smashing up their prey. Um, they're just one of the neatest turtles. I, I really like all of the megacephalic species of turtles and the loggerheads are just by far my favorite. If you're setting up some loggerheads, um, one thing I recommend is if you're doing some captive bred hatchlings, which I 100% recommend. Again, captive bred hatchlings, they're gonna be the best way to go. You're not getting a wild caught adult that could be hit or miss. So you're gonna wanna set them up in an aquarium or a tub. And I just recommend, you know, maybe some sand or some gravel, some driftwood, little places to hide, maybe some aquatic plants for them to climb on. Uh, Cause they can handle some deeper water. They just need to be able to climb. So set that tank up with some driftwood, uh, a little bit of rocks, some plants, and they're gonna do fine. And they'll actually do quite well And you know, you can do a hatchling or two in a 10 gallon aquarium, 
uh, for the first year or two of their life, and they'll do fine. And then you can even keep adults in a basic 55-gallon aquarium. Um, that would be suitable for a pair of adults. For me personally, I like to keep all my stuff outside, and you just get like uh, just totally different behaviors and different um, aspects of their life that you get to see if you keep them outside that uh, you just don't see inside. So. I highly recommend looking into loggerhead musk turtles if you're looking for a good pet turtle. Um, they're easy to find. Um, there should be plenty of captive bred babies from time to time uh, when the season is around for baby turtles. Um, you'll see them on you know, kingsnake.com, Fauna Classifieds, all the standard places. Um, so loggerhead musk turtles, these guys are my choice. If you're going to ask me the best pet turtle, I'm going to say these every time. So love that face know that face love that face so thanks for watching this video uh, if you like this video please drop a like uh, comment tell me what your favorite turtle is and subscribe so you can see more videos like this and feel free to share this video on Facebook and across all different social media platforms I'll see you in the next video and till then you guys take it easy thank you for watching